Hey, what's up? Good afternoon to all you young Arrested fans on YouTube. Happy Friday. I'm Justin Flynn. I'm here to give you all of my review on today's Young and Restless Friday, August 31st, 2017. Now, today's Young and Restless was angered me, but the ending today really um, um, excited me. I, I, lo I love the ending, but I'm going to get to the ending in, the, in a minute. I'm going to get to the beginning of the show on um, today's episode. Um, today, um, Nikki. She was dropping by by Bash and Sassy to complain to Victoria about Harry airing her argument with Hawkman on GC Buzz. Top turns to Victor and how he's damaged Vicky, Vicky's relationship with Billy. They move on to Hawkman and Re Victoria reveals Phyllis gave her him a push in her direction. Victoria thinks she's working with Jack to take her company down. Up at your boat, Ashley updates Jack on Billy and Victoria's accusations. They know their new line and think he's planning to use Fenmore's. He claims they're responsible for their own sales slump. But Ash knows where there's smoke with Jack. There's usually fire. She warns him plotting could bite him in the butt. After Jack leaves, for, leaves, for, leaves a message for someone to get in his office now. You know, uh... No, um, you know, I really think, uh, Phyllis was, I mean, yesterday Phyllis was, um, was at Michael and Lauren's home complaining about Victoria interfering in a relationship with Billy. I mean, I know, I mean, has she even forgotten her role? I mean, I mean, she, has, she's the one who, has she even forgotten her role in interfering Nick and Sharon's breakup and Danny and Christine's breakup? It's the same thing. I mean, now she knows how it feels. That's karma for for a bitch ass. That's karma for um um Phyllis, cause she did the same. She cause she tried what she's doing to um Billy and Victoria is the same way she did to Nick and Sharon and Danny and Christine. It's the same thing. I know some of you think that she's forgotten how she went away to be accessible to Nick every opportunity she could find. And I think she also forgot how, how Nick and Sharon were struggling dealing with Cassie's death. And she showed no no damn compassion with Sharon for Sharon's dilemma and took full advantage of that situation. And Phyllis used whatever she had to do, which was sex, to lure weak Nick to her away from Sharon. And now she, and now Victoria, and, and now I know some, some of you say that Victoria, and Victoria is doing the same thing, doing the same thing to her with Billy. What goes, I guess what goes around comes around for Phyllis. Because she knows now, she, cause she, that's, 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 her, that's karma. She knows that she's getting, getting what's, what's coming to her. Now, um, Billy, Billy um, apologizes at home. Billy apologizes for going to, into work for the previous night and wants to make it up with, to Phyllis. He offers to take a half a day, but she thinks she'll he'll be distracted with Braxton Sassy. Billy refuses to talk to her to her about why he went back to her office last night, noting that she she must have secrets about Jabot as well. And then Devon stops by at Sharon's place looking for Mariah and t takes Tessa by surprise by revealing he wants to get back into the recording studio and under her under contract due to success success of her first track. She promises not to be distracted this time. At GC Buzz, Hillary takes Mariah off guard by apologizing for ruining her date with Devon the other night. Hillary reveals that she and Devon spent time together at the athletic club and mentions the text he sent Mariah saying that he'd be late. Mariah claims she wasn't hovering by her phone and walks away. Devon shows up and Hillary overhears him apologize to Mariah he didn't show up at the underground at all. Snuckling ensues until Mariah steps away with Devine and asks why he spent so long with Hillary. He pleads his, his case and Mariah, Mariah, Mariah accuses him of letting Hillary snow him and points out that he hasn't yet told her he loves her. Design says he's committed to her. The redhead's not convinced he's over Hillary who wrote hovers nearby. No, I don't believe, I don't buy all that crap that um, what Hillary said. I mean, that's bullshit. Bullshit, Hillary. 
You just want to break up Devon and Mariah just because because Jordan don't want you don't want your bitch ass no more. That's it. You know, I really do. I I really hope that they don't put. I really hope they don't break up Devon and Mariah. I really hope these writers, because um, because they're right. Some these writers, um, I hope you know this lady name, this new lady, this name, um, Mal. This person named Mal, Mal Young or some Mal Young or somebody. I hope the person, um, this Mal Young person doesn't put test Mariah and Tessa's a couple, because I want Divine and Mariah to stay together, because right? I don't want I want Tessa to stay with Noah and Divine to stay with Mariah, because I hate because I um. I don't want this to happen. It's going to be really stupid if they try to break up Devon and Mariah. Really stupid. Because I want them to have, like, be a couple and have, like, get married and have children and all that stuff. That's what I want that to happen. Now, um, at Crimson Light, Scott reveals to Sharon that he's discovered Alice's address. Sharon questions her suspicions about the blind. But Scott reiterates that he trusts her instincts. They debate the, the they debate the issue, and Scott reveals that Alice lied about passing through town. She has a general city address. Tess arrives seeking an update on Crystal. Sharon's heard nothing. She and Scott head out to Alice's, with Sharon saying she'll update him about Tessa on the way. Meanwhile, Zach approaches Tessa on the patio, fishing to see if she heard she's heard from Crystal. They chat about her singing in his business until. He gets a text from Alice and leaves. Inside, Ashley is pleased for Abby being closer to her father at the ranch. Abby swiftly mentions Brent Davis, noting Victor Wine warned him, warned her not to bring him up. Ash Warren explains he was a nice man in her family, not get over, never got over her, his mother with her, over over his affair with her mother. You know what? Um, I really I don't understand this at all. I mean, Jack is gonna risk his relationship with Nikki to get back at Billy. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. This point, especially he's plotting with the um, with Phyllis, who cheated on him with Billy. I mean, Jack is not the person. She used to be. I mean, and what about and Sharon? And Sharon needs to. I mean, I really wish this um this sex, the stupid prostitute sex ring or whatever you call it, just get over. I mean, I mean she's. I mean, she, she needs to break this case. Sharon needs to break this case and get this over with. I mean, they need to be. I mean, they, they need to get this over with because it's getting starting to get a little boring, 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 and boring. This um. She's all of a sudden she's Sherlock Sharon now, like Sherlock Holmes. I mean, this is getting boring. She needs to just get it over with. These writers just need to get this story over this this sex ring. It's getting boring, man. Now outside Alice's house, Sharon and Scott are startled when a neighbor woman pops in up in the uh, pops in the car window as they wait for Alice to arrive. She mentions Alice had a niece visiting. Having waited long enough, they drive off before Alice arrives home. Then Phyllis arrives at Jabot, where Jack accuses her of leaking their marketing plans to Billy over pillow talk. Phyllis argues that she wouldn't lift a finger to brush and sassy going. It's bringing Billy and Victoria closer together. They reached a meeting with Lauren yesterday. Jack is disgruntled. He likes to win. Phyllis exits as Nikki swans in. She sweetly says Jack can be such a wonderful man before asking he's planning to destroy her daughter's company. Jack reassures her. Nikki warns if she ever got if she ever got word he plotted against Victoria, their friendship would end. And instantly in, instantly. Down, and downstairs Billy arrives at Brash and Sassy, and he and Victoria reash how he used Phyllis's computer to access Jabot's server. He says it's all due to Jack's gunning to Jack gunning for him. And you won't let Victoria or her company do, company become de- collateral damage. They strategize about the about how to compete with Jabot. Billy takes an issue with her, 
they make people believe Joel's new products are shoddy. But Billy Bowles has solved the problem. At the Victoria exits, he phones the range of army temps across the country that will give a thousand, a, a hundred gift, a one, one hundred gift cards to Finn Morris for Bash and Sassy products only billed to him. Meanwhile, Victoria gets on the elevator with Phyllis and slams the emergency stop button and, and Phyllis asks, what do you think you're doing? And Victoria replies, I'm on to you, bitch. Yep. Sharon, yep. She knows. Victoria knows. She knows she, she, she's trying to um, get get um, Hawkman in her place so that Phyllis can drive her and Billy apart. She knows because Phyllis, she knew all along because Phyllis knows she, she, she's trying to um, do it. She, she knew all along that Phyllis was trying to drive her away from Billy. She knew all along. Yep. She's busted. Big time. She knows she's trying to drive her away from Billy all this time. Getting hot, put Hawkman in her place. This, see, this is, the, this is the Victoria I like to see. It kind of reminds me of when, he, you know, what it might me think of is almost like when Heather Tom was playing her, like with a little feisty side. And Phil seems not to forget to fuck with her the last name Newman. They still, they still have like Victor's blood, but in the end, Billy is going to go back to Victoria always. The writers, I mean, I know some of the writers are, um, you think, all the people think the writers are just prolonging to the inevitable. And Divine and Divine ha, has not. I know. I know. I go, how much you want to bet that Divine hasn't got not gotten over Hillary? She still wants him. So what we'll see. And, and, and you know what? And, and you know what? It's, it's about time Victoria caught on to Phyllis. Because she knows. She knew. She can tell that, that Phyllis is trying to um, drive her away from Billy. The same shit she did. I mean, I'm calling. Look at the crap she I mean, first. Um, Danny and Christine, then Nick and Sharon, and now all of a sudden, um, Billy and Victoria. Now she's trying to, she's trying to, she's trying to. She did the same. She first she kept Danny and um, Nick, um, Nick and Sharon apart. Then she tried to get Danny and Christine apart, and now it's Billy and Victoria's turn. Well, Victoria's going. Uh, Phyllis is going to go down. I mean, like, uh, um. Billy's gonna realize what, she, what Phyllis has been doing, and she's gonna dump Phil, and Vic, Billy's gonna dump Phyllis's ass and go right back to Victoria. I bet. So that's my little review for all of you today on today's um, Young and the Restless. So subscribe to me, Justin Fleming, and to don't forget, remember. Uh, by the way, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm turning 29. So subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. Hit like, make a comment on my video. Have a good afternoon. Peace. I'm out of here.